In the distal convoluted tubule, or the DCT in the nephron, thiazide diuretics act by blocking the sodium chloride symporter by binding to the chloride binding site. This ultimately stops the sodium and chloride reabsorption from the lumen or the filtrate into the epithelial cells of the DCT, leading to a decreased sodium concentration in the DCT epithelial cell and ultimately an increased or greater volume of sodium chloride in the tubular fluid in the DCT region. Moving down to the collecting duct, now that there's a greater amount of sodium in the filtrate, more sodium proportionally can be reabsorbed into the collecting duct epithelial cells through the sodium channel, increasing the amount of sodium within the epithelial cells and the collecting duct, leading to an exchange of sodium and potassium at these sites through the ATPase pump, exchanging potassium into the epithelial cell of the collecting duct. Potassium is then secreted into the urine or the filtrate via the potassium channel. The constant reabsorption of sodium and potassium continues, causing a loss of potassium from the blood. This may eventually lead to potassium loss and hypokalemia.